Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Creamy Salmon Leek Pasta. That's right, a super easy, super delicious springtime pasta. Not too heavy, not too light. Some would say just right. Hey, check me out. I just busted freestyle. Anyway, not many ingredients, but big time flavor. And here's how you make it. We're going to throw some butter in a pan over medium heat. And as soon as it melts, we're going to saute our leeks. So I want you to take a leek and give it a dice. You only want to use the white parts, the light parts. Generally, the dark green parts can be a little tough. But if you got a little bit of that, don't worry. I'm also going to add a big pinch of salt and we're going to sweat that over medium heat for about six, seven minutes. So we're not really looking to brown these. We just want them to soften a little bit. They're actually going to continue to cook in the sauce. So right about there, mine were looking really good. And at that point, we're going to deglaze with some white wine and a little bit of lemon juice. And by the way, please do not buy and use cooking wine. That's for idiots. All right, so walk to the wine department, tell the person you want the best $7 bottle of white wine they have, and that's your cooking wine. Okay, so we're going to dump that in. That's going to bubble up when it hits the hot pan, of course. Give it a stir, and all we're waiting for is for most of that liquid to evaporate, which is just going to take a couple minutes, all right? Maybe two minutes. So don't walk away. You don't want to burn it. Just stand there, give it a stir, and when you see that wine and lemon juice almost boiled away, and it kind of looks like that, we're going to add the star of the show, creme fraiche. That's right, somewhere Randy Marsh is smiling and possibly doing other things. Now, typically these creamy seafood pasta sauces are usually made with heavy cream only, but by using creme fraiche, we're going to get that same awesome creamy texture, plus a way more interesting flavor in my opinion. Creme fraiche has that beautiful, slightly fermented tangy flavor, like a sour cream, a little bit nutty, very deep and complex, really, really beautiful. Now, just to confuse you, I did put a small splash of cream there just because I had it in the fridge and I didn't want to waste it. It was only like a quarter cup. So you can really use any combination of creme fraiche and cream. The more creme fraiche, the better. And as you know, very simple to make. So check out that video. And then to finish the sauce, we're going to add a little bit of cayenne and then a little touch of tarragon mustard. If you can't find tarragon mustard, you're just going to use a little Dijon and some chopped tarragon. That's easy. All right, once all that's in there, I want you to give it a stir. Reduce your heat to low and just let it sit there while you prep your salmon, okay? And speaking of salmon, I'm using a wild salmon, which is what you want to try to find. A frozen wild salmon is always going to be a better choice than a fresh farmed. And we're just going to go ahead and make nice even slices, somewhere between like a quarter inch and a half inch. I know, three eighths. The shape really doesn't matter as long as they're all about the same thickness. We're going to walk back over to our sauce. We're going to lay that down on top of our sauce. Remember, this is just on low heat, so it should just be barely, barely simmering. We're going to wait about 30 seconds, and we're going to start to kind of move it around a little. And what's going to happen here is as soon as the salmon starts to break up, see right now as you're moving it around, it's still together because the pieces are raw and they still have that raw texture. But as the sauce warms up, the salmon's going to slowly and gently start to cook through. And right about here, you can see as I start to stir, the salmon just starts to want to fall apart. That is done. Stop, turn off the heat, and get ready to finish your pasta. To finish the sauce, I'm going to dump in a nice handful of fresh herbs. Cilantro, in my case, was fantastic. Italian parsley would be lovely. Tarragon, oh man, that would be so good. Thyme, yes. Chervil, absolutely. Can I stop naming herbs now? Yes, I can. So we're going to stir that in. Of course, you're going to taste and adjust your seasoning. You know that. I tell you every video. Now, of course, if you're smart, and since you're watching this channel, I assume that you are, you should, of course, already have your pasta boiling while you're making this simple sauce. So I cook some spaghetti. For you children under five, that is the same thing as spaghetti. So try to time your pasta to be finished the same time your sauce is. Looking good. And should I garnish with a little bit of extra cayenne? What do you think? And that was it. Creamy salmon leek pasta. So easy. So simple. And this is like a one-two punch of deliciousness. You have that creamy, awesome creme fraiche based sauce. All right, creme fraiche is naturally tangy, but then you have that little extra acidic hit from the white wine and the lemon, that earthy sweetness from the leeks. Just a really, really enjoyable sauce. And then that salmon, because we did not overcook it, we just gently heated it in the warm sauce. It's tender, it's just perfect. And for those of you people that are afraid to cook seafood because you're not sure if you're going to overcook it or undercook it, this is perfect. You really can't mess this up. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more information as usual. And as always, enjoy.